Good morning, and thanks again for joining us today as we continue our discussion on the topic of Book of Revelation. Next up is the letter to the leader of the church of Thyatira, which John sent to him. This is a message from the Son of God, whose eyes penetrate like flames of fire, whose feet are like glowing brass. I am aware of all your good deeds, your kindness to the poor, your gifts and service to them. Also I know your love and faith and the patience, and I can see your constant improvement in all these things. Yet I have this against you. You are permitting the woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach my servants that sex sin is not a serious matter. She urges them to practice immorality and to eat meat that has been sacrificed to idols. I gave her time to change her mind and attitude, but she refused. Pay attention now to what I am saying. I will lay her upon a sickbed of intense affliction, along with all her immoral followers, unless they turn again to me, repenting of their sin with her. And I will strike her children dead, and all the churches shall know that I am he who searches deep within men's hearts and minds. I will give to each of you whatever you deserve. As for the rest of you in Thyatira who have not followed this false teacher, deeper truths, as they call them, depths of Satan, really, I will ask nothing further of you, only hold tightly to what you have until I come. To everyone who overcomes, who to the very end keeps on doing things that please me, I will give power over the nations. You will rule them with a rod of iron, just as my father gave me the authority to rule them. They will be shattered like a pot of clay that is broken into tiny pieces, and I will give you the morning star. Let all who hear can hear listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. This is pretty intense. Yet Jesus is saying the same thing as we have witnessed in the other letters, but he is more becoming more intense in his authority and his message to be more clear. Specifically, this letter says that the church of Thyatira he's pleased with, except for the prophetess, or who she calls herself a prophetess, Jezebel. Jezebel, as you could see in here, is actually a tool or a vessel that Lucifer is using to distract the followers, God's followers, Christ's followers, from following him correctly and the way he wants them to follow him. So Satan is using her as his vessel, his guide, as his messenger to plant seeds to tell the followers, oh this is okay, this is alright, you can eat meat that's been sacrificed to idols, God won't mind, uh, sex sin is not really a, a serious matter, God won't mind. Jesus is saying that he does mind, that his father does mind. And for those who don't change their ways, He's going to show them his power by placing sickness on Jezebel and striking her children dead, and doing the same for her followers who are immoral. He's also saying that for those who followed him and kept his teachings, he doesn't really ask anymore just to keep them in their heart and in their soul and keep practicing them until he comes again and then he will make them rulers of nations as his father our father God made him ruler of all nations so he's also saying as he had said in the other letters that you need to hear this and you need to listen because what he's saying is the truth 
and the truth will be foretold and will come to pass. So in this next letter, he's saying what he said in the previous letters. Listen, because what I'm telling you is going to pass. It's going to come to pass. It's going to be true. So we're getting more intense in the messages Jesus is saying, but if you really listen to it carefully, he's more or less saying the same thing, except getting more authoritative about it, more clearer about it. So please, if you wish to refer back to this letter, as you do the others, go back to the Living Bible paraphrase, and you'll be able to uh, reread the letters and really think upon them. And what Jesus said then, he means for now. Be a true follower of him. He knows we're going to fail. He knows we're going to fall short, as we always do, of the glory of God. But he knows our hearts. It's just like he said in the letter to Thyatira. People will know that I am the one who looks deep within the hearts and minds of people, of my children. And he knows what's inside your heart. He knows what's going on in today's world. And as I said, you know, before, the light is starting to shine more and more people are turning back to him. Don't forget to repent for your sins. Truly repent. Try your best not to repeat those sins when Lucifer attempts you to repeat them. And it is hard. I can tell you that myself. It's extremely hard. But remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I'm Reverend Tony, and I want to thank you again for joining me today in our discussion on the book of Revelation. And we will continue next week further discussions on the book of Revelation. Have a blessed day, and please continue to walk in God's presence. You'll be glad you did.